The idea of brachot is a concept that goes all throughout Sefer Breshit. From the beginning of creation, when Hashem blesses the fish, the animals, and humankind, as well as Shabbat, all the way through Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, and finally, in this week's parsha, where Yaakov blesses his children and grandchildren at the end of his life. It's fascinating to see how something that Hashem did to bring a bracha into the world is something that he handed over to Avram to bless his children, and then from Avram's children, Yitzchak, child Yaakov, Yitzchak, to bless Yaakov, as well as Esav, and then now it becomes part of B'nai Yisrael's minhag to bless their children every single Shabbat. What's incredible is to see how something that is within God's hands gets handed over into our hands. The ability to give brachot. The ability to bless somebody. But the question is, how does that work? How does a bracha even work? In the end of the day, if somebody has those abilities, then they should just go ahead and do it without the bracha. And if they don't have the abilities, then is the bracha magical? And it's just as you snap your finger, you say some magic words, and all of a sudden the person gets these abilities in order to do well. If we look at the brachot that, it's, that Yaakov gives to his children, you'll find that there are two brachot that really stand out. And that's the brachot that were given to Reuven as well as to Shimon and Levi. They weren't exactly brachot. He doesn't tell them wonderful things, but rather he gives them scathing attacks at their personalities and what they've done and tells them and rebukes them for what they did. Now, how is that a bracha? All the other brothers get wonderful things told to them, while Levi, Shimon, and Reuven get told rebuke. If you look later on, the Torah tells us that all of them got brachot, but they didn't seem to get any brachot. I think the problem is we don't understand what a bracha is. A bracha, according to Reb Simcha Bonim Ipshizcha, is the ability to motivate somebody to fulfill their potential. Motivation to fulfill your potential can come from many different ways. Yaakov Avinu understood that certain children needed different types of motivation in order to succeed. He wanted all of them to achieve their, to achieve their potential. But it happened to be that for Reuven, Shimon and Levi, they needed something different than the other brothers. They needed rebuke. Some children need harsh discipline. Some children, some children need a balance of discipline as well as encouragement. And some children would fold under the discipline that, that, some, that a teacher or a parent would give them. And therefore, they need constant praise and reinforcement in order to grow. Every child is different. But the key is, a bracha is the ability to look at somebody, to understand who they are, to understand what they need, and to give them the motivation to fulfill what's already inside of them. Shabbat Shalom.